if you have clearly understood concept of passing parameters by value and also previous two programs then this next program is a piece of cake for you because in this program we are just going to ask user to enter a number and using functions it is going to print square and cube of that number so obviously we'll require two functions one that will be calculating square and another will be calculating cube so we are passing that single number to it and the first function which is square will be returning x multiplied by x similarly cube which will also take input as an integer and it will return me x multiplied by x multiplied by x so in the main program as we have declared and defined our two functions like this then in the main program i'm just going to ask user to enter the number the value will be stored at variable n and then inside of print statement we are going to call our functions in line so i'm writing square inside of bracket n so n will be passed to square function internally x is equal to n will happen so value of n will get copied into x and operations will be performed on x and square will return me integer value so if user has entered 10 then in this case output will be square colon 100 and in case of next line output would be cube colon 1000 now just as a small tweak i have called cube functions directly over here so in this case cube will be called however compiler will not give error also there would be no changes in our output because this cube is just doing calculations over here it is not printing any values here so this function will be executed but there won't be any difference in terms of output also notice that we are not utilizing the value that function cube will be sending us but that is also okay so whether to use or not use the values written by your function is completely your call so in this case a compiler might give you just an warning but it's confirmed that this statement will be executed